Hey guys, this is the all new Dumbo RC DDF350 transmitter and this thing really is amazing. So after my review video I received a lot of questions about this transmitter. So in this video I will answer them all. Stay tuned. <laughs> So guys, in today's video I will answer all of your questions that I received after the review video about the new Dumbo RC DDF350. So what is this? This is the new Dumbo RC 10 channel transmitter and this thing is truly amazing. You can change almost every settings inside here. You've got a color display and a lot more. I will put the link down below to the review video so you can check it out for yourself. But this thing is truly amazing. But after that video I received a lot of questions so I will be answering them all in this video. So the first question is... Can I safely use a LiPo battery instead of the double A's? The answer to that question is yes. But first I have to show you something inside the menu. So when you go into the menu and you go to the transmitter settings, press OK. Then go to the fourth page and in the fourth page you will see the battery type. And here you can select the battery type that you are going to use. So currently I've put in the AA's and it's selected to the AA's. And you can also choose the 2S or 3S. So you can run this transmitter on a 2S or a 3S LiPo. So I'm just going to plug in the 2S LiPo. So I'm going to select the 2S LiPo. But when you exit the menu again. Then you can see that my battery status is totally dead. And that's correct. Because AA have got a lower voltage than a LiPo battery. So now let's plug in a LiPo battery. And what you should do is just remove this little connector as you can see. And plug in your LiPo battery like this one. And then you're all good to go. And let's turn the transmitter back on again. I have connected the 2S LiPo battery and here you can see the battery status, it is almost full. So yes you can run a 2S or a 3S LiPo battery inside this transmitter. So now it's time for the second question. And the second question is... How does the battery voltage connection work? Well to answer that question, first I have to build a small setup and then I can show you that. I just made a quick setup and everything is functional. So steering and throttle, everything is functional as you can see. So the thing that you should do, you've got a little battery connector. So you've got battery plus and battery minus sitting right over there. And you should connect that to the battery. So in the first transmitter that I ordered, didn't came with this wire. But the second transmitter that I ordered came with this little wire. So you should connect this little wire into the battery port right over there. And then inside your balance port, so just the outer connection. So just just plug uh, black into black and red into red and then you will have a battery reading. So let me show you that here on the transmitter. And now you can see the battery voltage of your LiPo battery. So here you can see if I throttle up that the voltage will drop a little bit as you can see. Do you see that? So everything is functional. And yes you can run it on a 3S LiPo battery. Let me show you that as well. And now I have connected the 3S LiPo battery and you can see the voltage difference. So everything is functional even when I throttle up you can see that the voltage will drop a little bit. So that was the second question. Let's go to the next question. Can I use all the receivers and bind it to this new transmitter? Well yes you can. So for example if you've got a 6 channel receiver you can simply bind it to this new transmitter. And that's because they're using the same protocol. Another question I received is, how do I bind this one to this new transmitter? Let me show you that. On this receiver you will find two little buttons. So there's one over here and one over there. So in the language I don't understand is written here mode and here is written bind. So this is the bind button. So press and hold the bind button for 3 seconds and then the LED will go in flashing mode. Then turn on your transmitter and uh, use the steering wheel a couple of times and then it should be bound. On to the next question. How do I set the gyro and how to change the sensitivity? Well let me show you that. So the first thing you want to do is go to the advanced setting. Press enter. Then go to page number 3. This is for the gyro and turn the gyro mix on. Now the gyro will be activated. When I move the receiver around you can see that the servo will respond to that. By changing this value uh, you can yeah, adjust the sensitivity. So when you put in a higher number, so let's say uh, 60. The gyro is much more sensitive than when you put in a lower number. So that's pretty useful. Another thing that you can do, you can turn the gyro on and off by programming one of the buttons. So go to enable key, press enter and now we are going to use channel number 3 to turn the gyro on and off. Another thing which is pretty useful 
is adjusting knob. So I'm going to put this one on channel number 5, so fear number 5, and I can use this dial to change the sensitivity of the gyro. So let's test that. So the gyro should be off currently. It is not, and I'm not sure. Yeah, now it's off. So the gyro is off. And now when I press this button, the gyro is on, but it is slightly moving. But now when I turn this dial, it is now highly sensitive, but when I bring it back again, it will be less sensitive. By the way, do you see that? So that's pretty useful. On to the next question. I forgot to show you how to turn the gyro on and off on the receiver. So here is your mode button. Press the mode button three times and then the gyro will be activated or deactivated. Let me show you that. So currently it's off. But when I press it three times, so one, two, three. You see it flashing one time and now it's activated. So press it three times again. One, two, three. It flashes one times again and now it's deactivated. On to the next question. Where's the key type menu used for? Well, let me show you that. So a servo can respond in two ways. So you can have an inching servo or you can have a locking servo. And let me show you the difference. So this one is hooked up to channel number three. And channel number three is on to the inching mode right now. What that means is when I press channel number three, it will engage. But when I release channel number three, it will go back into the original state. So this is called an inching servo. You have to press it before the servo will respond. But when I go to channel number 3 and put it into the locking, then the servo will be locked. So you can lock it all the way to that way or to that way. So that's the difference between the locking and an inching servo. Another question I received is wherefore is the timer and how do I use it? Well the timer is used if you're driving over a racetrack and you want to see how fast your lap is. If you want to use the timer then we first go to the menu settings and go to the transmitter settings. Then go to page number uh, 2 and then you can see the timer. So here you can see a couple of things. So you can dedicate a start button and you can dedicate a stop and a reset button. So for this uh, demonstration I have chosen channel number 3 and channel number 4. But you can also start the timer when you're uh, pulling on the trigger and I also have enabled that one so let me demonstrate this so when I press the number three the timer will start when I press the number four it will stop again so when I press the number three again it will start again and with the number four it will stop again very easy if you want to reset it press the number four and it will be reset but you can also use the trigger to start the timer so the trigger is pulled and as you can see the timer has started and if you want to stop it again so when you cross the finish line press channel number 4 or any other button and it will be stopped. So that's pretty useful. So guys there were a lot of questions answered about the new Dumbo RC transmitter and I hope I answered your question as well. If I didn't please leave a comment below and I will try to come back to you as soon as possible. So for this video guys that was it. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. If you got any questions or suggestions leave a comment below and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.